So there are some great AI tools that are already embedded in Microsoft Excel. In this quick video, we're gonna take a look at the Flash Fill tool, some of the nuances of the tool, and also how you can use it quickly using keyboard shortcuts. So first of all, where do we find the Flash Fill tool? In two places. Number one, let's click on the data section of the ribbon. Across to the right hand side, right here is Flash Fill and we can see the keyboard shortcut, Control E. We can also find it in the home section of the ribbon if we go over to the right hand side here under Fill and at the bottom, we can see Flash Fill. Let's jump in, take a look at how it works. So your computer may already have Flash Fill turned on automatically. Let's check. We're gonna go over here to where it says first name and just start typing in the first name, Leon. We're going to hit enter and we're going to start typing in Derek. So D like this, and we can see instantly that the flash fill comes up and then we can hit enter. Now, if flash fill didn't automatically come up, let's check your Excel settings. So we're going to click on file. We're going to say alt F for file up here. And now at the bottom T for options, this dialog box comes up. Let's use the arrows to go down here to the advanced settings. And it's this setting right here, automatically flash fill that you want to have checked on. Let's click okay to that and proceed forward. Now that that's checked on, let's go over here to last name and give it a try. We're going to start typing in birdie like this. And then the next one, Bruno and as soon as we type that in, it should flash fill automatically. Now you hit enter. Now let's check what the computer did. In fact, when we look at this entry right here, the last name is incorrect. It should be Truno Smith. And a little bit further down, the last name here should be Sims Tate. Let's take a look at correcting those. So let's go up here where we need to make the first correction. We're going to tap F2 to pop into the cell. As soon as we tap F2, notice the little border that's around these cells. It's recognizing that they're all a part of a set. So we're going to go to the beginning and we're going to put Truno and then a dash. As soon as we hit enter, watch really closely what happens down here to the last name Tate. When we hit enter, this one gets corrected as well. So this is amazing. Since we instructed the computer on what we want done with these hyphenated last names, it went ahead and made the correction to Sims Tate as well. So let's see if we can speed things up a little bit more. To automatically flash fill, we had to type in two entries for the computer. But now let's try typing in one entry and using the keyboard shortcut. So let's put the email address in here. We want to put in leon.birdie, like this, at company.com. Now we hit enter and we just hit control E, which is the shortcut for flash fill. So that's even quicker since we only had to put in one entry and then we were able to use that keyboard shortcut control E. Let's do a quick scan here to see how it's handling the hyphenated last names really well here and here really nice. Now we were always starting right up here at the beginning of the list, but in fact, we can start anywhere. Let's go down here and put in LF for Lisa Fundy and then hit control E and everything's flash filled. Now it's important to check our work. And in fact, we notice a small issue here. We have SMB as the initial for Sheila McBride. So it's treating the B as if it was another name. And it's also coming up down here with JMT for Jason McTavish. So let's go into this cell and we're just gonna hit F2 and change this to SM. And as soon as we hit enter, watch what happens down here to Jason McTavish. Let's hit enter and that's updated as well. Perfect. Let's give this a quick test on phone numbers as well. Up here, we wanna put some dashes in, 987-654-321. As soon as we hit enter, control E, it's done it perfectly. Now let's see what happens when our data set expands. Let's imagine that we're gonna go down here and add one more person to the list. For instance, we're gonna put in Jeff Schmidt, just like this. And let's also go across here and put in Jeff's phone number. Perfect. This is going to be so fast to fill in using the keyboard. Let's go into this cell for first name, control E, and now a quick little pro tip. The F4 key repeats the last command. So we can move to this cell and tap F4 over here, F4, 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 and we're all done. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video on Flash Fill. It's a great AI tool that's already embedded in Microsoft Excel, and you can start making use of it right away. Remember to use that control E shortcut to save even more time. We'll see you soon in the next video.